Hello, and welcome to Oracle NetSuite version 2019 Release 1. The 19.1 release has a number of features of interest for advertising, media, and publishing companies. This video will touch on a few of the features you might be interested in. Be sure to review the 2019.1 release notes for a full list of upcoming features to find out more details on what benefits they can provide. Don't forget that NetSuite also provides a free release preview to see how these features will work with your data. Let's kick it off with improvements to our user interface. NetSuite is continuously improving the user interface and enhancing the user experience to make the solution more user-friendly and intuitive, which increases productivity while enhancing user engagement. Instead of crowded, menu-driven screens overloaded with push-based information flows, NetSuite's configurable modern user interface looks and feels more like a consumer-grade application. In the 19.1 release, NetSuite dashboards have a new look and feel. The clean, more modern visual design makes it faster and easier to consume key business insights at a glance, including a redesigned KPI meter. You can now display multi-series charts and trend graph portlets, comparing up to three KPIs, both standard and custom. The headline KPIs are more bold and distinct, including a mini trend graph, enabling you to act quickly on insights. To see the full list of KPIs, you can expand and collapse the list under the headline KPIs. We have some exciting new features in the professional services automation area. One of the major benefits for an agency, marketing services, or creative firm having a unified solution like NetSuite is the ability to manage new business in CRM, and then, when the opportunity is won, to create and manage the project in a seamless flow with all information flowing through to the project. In the 19.1 release, we're leveraging the integrated suite to create a new project with the items and task structure or via a template, directly from the opportunity or estimate. This will work in a way that's familiar to our current customers, an existing process that creates projects from sales orders. This feature will reduce the need to re-enter data as the data flows seamlessly between the two areas, saving time and cost, improving ease of use, and creating greater efficiencies for our customers. Advertising agencies, marketing consultancies, PR firms, and creative organizations are diversifying and adopting much more of a hybrid business model these days. This means that the project manager needs to manage not just resource time and expenses, but also suppliers' costs through purchase orders and vendor bills. NetSuite supports the hybrid model with enhancements to charge-based billing by adding a new purchase charge rule, which will help our customers process all project-related billing in a single place. Customers with NetSuite project management and purchasing will benefit greatly as this feature will enable them to manage billing for third-party out-of-pocket costs for a project quickly, easily, and in one place. Timesheets are the lifeblood of a services organization, providing the key data from which project reports can be kept accurate and up-to-date, billing can occur, and project forecasting can be assessed and planned. Outstanding timesheets can be a roadblock to these important processes. As a result, in the 19.1 release, we've added additional capabilities and new information to the missing timesheet report, making it more helpful and meaningful to the user. In addition to reporting on timesheets with less hours than expected, users can now include timesheets without any hours. Reminders can also be automatically scheduled to prompt employees and their supervisors to encourage timesheet completion. All lines on the report can be used to drill down into the details to make the report an interactive tool to support supervisors and managers chasing outstanding timesheets. This enhancement will deliver significant benefits to the customers by improving project tracking, forecasting, and billing as a result of a more timely timesheet submission. Many of our agency and marketing services customers are expanding internationally. Our goal is to help our customers and partners embrace that opportunity. Advertising, marketing, and PR firms are amongst the most mobile and global organizations where creative, design, or production staff can be sent to any part of the world to carry out their work for clients. This results in expenses being incurred in multiple countries and therefore many different currencies as they travel. NetSuite already accommodates the requirement to submit expense reports in a variety of different currencies on one report. A new functionality in the 19.1 release allows the employee to select the required currency for the expense report and the reimbursement and to not be limited to base currency only. 
This situation would occur, for example, if an employee is working in a foreign country for an extended period of time and prefers to be paid in that country's currency. The exchange rate applied to the expense report can be fixed to the standard exchange rate table and hidden or visible and editable by the user according to customer requirements. All expense entries are converted to the preferred currency, and in the summary, the employee can view the expense report totals in both base and preferred currency. All accounting for realized currency gains and losses is automated. This is just one example of how NetSuite is helping our customers across the world grow, scale, and adapt to change. NetSuite has customers in 203 countries and territories. With the introduction of new localized product capabilities in many fast-growing countries across the world, we're helping our customers break down the barriers to growth in their individual countries and focus on moving their businesses forward as well as expand globally. Many service organizations operate with groups or teams of people working regularly together on projects and tasks, such as within a production studio. These groups vary in size, but once a team expands past five or six users, assigning those resources to project tasks can be quite cumbersome, especially if there are multiple tasks to which they can be assigned. Project managers can use resource groups on project tasks to make the management of resources more effective. Resource groups can be staffed in one of two ways, dividing the hours or keeping the hours constant. When dividing the hours, the total estimated work will be divided by the number of resources in the group. For example, I have a task that's planned to take 30 hours, and I have five members in the group. I can either assign all five members for 30 hours each, or divide the 30 hours among them, giving each of them six hours. This feature is ideal for design or video production studios within an advertising agency or creative firm. Staying on the subject of resource assignments, We've included in the 19.1 release the ability to reassign all or selected tasks for a resource on a project. This can be done for a selected resource for all assignments by using Mark All or by selecting assignments individually. This capability is required when a resource becomes unavailable due to time off, unplanned absence, or departs the company. This feature will help resource managers to quickly and easily reassign some or all of the work to another creative resource in one single, simple process. Moving on to billing highlights. In the 19.1 release, suite billing customers using time-based pricing will see an improved user interface on the subscription record. Bulk operations for deletion of charges, usage, and change orders, also a suite billing enhancement, will increase user productivity when using the subscription billing module. This feature will provide the ability to delete incorrect, obsolete, or irrelevant subscription-related records in bulk or in batches. Bulk operations for deletion will also provide a flexible and easy way to clean up charges, usage, and change orders no longer needed in the system. Sweet billing will provide competitive advantage to media firms who are evolving their business models. Moving on to procurement highlights. This new functionality provides the ability to add approvals on specific payments in accounts payable. When a user creates a payment for a bill, a transaction for a single vendor payment, or an employee expense report, for example, you can now choose to have an approval workflow in order to approve, process, and complete the specific payment. Control is enhanced as the payment cannot be processed until the payment has been approved. This provides better control over the account's payable process and provides a heightened level of visibility on payments where additional oversight is warranted. Let me cover the highlights in the human capital management area. In the 19.1 release, we're continuing to invest in expanding core HR capabilities. Previously, there was no standardized way to track the transitions an employee has as they move through the stages of their employee life cycle. However, with the introduction of employee status categories in the 19.1 release, such as pre-hire and active, NetSuite will be able to track employee transitions with improved consistency to create better reports and analytics to help you understand your workforce. Most importantly, the introduction of employee status categories allows the organization to come to alignment on the definition of an active employee. In the future, status categories will reduce manual HR processes by triggering automatic workflows, such as onboarding processes and more. 
NetSuite will also help you manage time off expiry alerts by allowing you to toggle expiry notifications for various time off types. HR now has more control over how employees are reminded of their expiration at year end. With a 19.1 release, your sensitive HR and employee data will become even more secure. Core Administration Permission, CAP for short, allows you to carefully manage access to highly regulated data. It's now easier than ever before to configure a role in NetSuite with all of the administrative abilities without the access to sensitive HR and employee data. Core Administration Permission, CAP, can be enabled via a checkbox on the Role Setup page. It's now easier to manage employees' NetSuite system access and assign roles to employees. This means that any role with this permission will be able to manage system access for employees without also needing to access their entire employee record and all the sensitive information within. This new permission, called the Employee Access Permission, can be enabled via the Role page as a line item on the Employee Access tab. Services, Warehouse, and Manufacturing are examples of industries with a high number of hourly workers. With the 19.1 release, NetSuite can support these labor-intensive industries. Employee type categories, such as contingent and contract worker, improve your ability to classify your workforce for better reporting analytics. Like employee status categories, the introduction of type categories will eventually help you reduce manual HR processes by triggering automatic workflows. Industries such as services, warehouse, and manufacturing also tend to have employees that are paid based on the number of hours they work, meaning that companies need the ability to automatically accrue time off based on their hours and the employee's hourly accrual rate. With the 19.1 release, companies can define hourly accrual time off rules, which are used to automatically calculate employees' time off accruals. NetSuite's time off plans not only support fixed amount accruals based on annual entitlement, but also hourly accruals based on an hourly rate and time off that's set as track only. With the 19.1 release, payroll customers will have granular control when posting payroll transactions to the GL. They'll no longer have to manually create adjustment entries after running payroll to get the employee advances to the right account. Instead, they can post earnings and deductions to asset accounts. SuiteScript is also supported using a new asset account field on a payroll item. Additionally, in this release, class, department, and location can be set for each individual line of a paycheck entry, including earnings, deductions, company contributions, and taxes. These values can even be set on the employee's timesheets and carried over onto the paycheck without any additional effort. Finally, payroll customers can now report amounts in Box 14 of an employee's W-2 with a descriptive label. This means that customers can much more easily communicate on an employee's tax form how much was allocated to their plan on an annual basis. As we continue to deliver more global financial capabilities, let me cover some of the highlights in this release. With the 19.1 release, we're introducing our next-gen tax engine, Sweet Tax, in a limited release which provides a new tax API that will enable customers to comply with different tax requirements across the globe. Sweet Tax will enable companies to determine, calculate, and report sales tax, value-added tax, or VAT, and goods and services tax, or GST, for many geographies, including USA, China, and India. Users will no longer have to monitor tax rate changes as they'll be automatically updated in every account for over 100 countries. Sweet Tax Reporting now offers a great deal of flexibility, such as the option to set default tax codes separately for goods as well as services, domestic and international transactions, and editable templates so you can choose what transactions get reported. The out-of-the-box solution generates localized VAT and GST returns, supplementary output and input tax, and EU cross-border reports. All taxable transactions in Sweet Tax now include the new date field, tax point date, that drives the tax determination and reporting, which is a key requirement in markets like Germany and France. Sweet Tax has added additional functionality for companies that need to comply with U.S.-based tax laws specifically related to sales and use tax. Features include 
The ability to enter all relevant information regarding customer's sales tax or exemption certificate on a dedicated page. The ability to indicate which items are generally not taxable for a particular nexus and assign the item to an exemption certificate from the item record. Automatic tax code provisioning and lookup for U.S. sales and to automatically calculate taxes accurately to ensure compliance across different states. Release 19.1 provides the Deferred VAT Recognition Suite app to enable companies to defer value-added tax recognition according to local tax laws. This is an important feature for companies whose products and or services are paid in increments over a period of time. The functionality allows users to map a tax code for deferred VAT and compute the deferred VAT recognition amount based on the payment instead of the total invoice amount. In the 19.1 release, NetSuite is adding more functionality to the multi-book accounting feature. This functionality is useful in multi-book use cases where customers want a secondary book to perform period end adjustments to their base book. Prior to 19.1, secondary accounting books contain data for all book generic transactions. When a report is generated for the adjustment-only accounting book, NetSuite will display data both from the primary accounting book and the adjustment-only book. As a result, much less maintenance is required for those who need to run two sets of accounting books, and it makes implementation for an adjustment-only book much easier as no historical transaction processing is required. There are many new and improved features in 2019 Release 1, and these were just the highlights. To learn more about the new features I covered, and the many that I didn't have time for, please visit your new release portlet and read the release notes. It's also a great idea to make sure you access your preview account when it's made available to you. This is a great way to see hands-on how the new features work with your own data. It's a free part of the service you get as a NetSuite customer, and we really encourage you to take advantage of your release preview access period. Enjoy this amazing new release.